All right, welcome back everyone. I'm going to do a, another Imagine AI um, guest tutorial or show you how it can work for you. Um, I just shot this up this session. Um, there's 295 images in this, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna run it through Imagine AI. Now, I actually didn't cull these down because I just, how many photographers can relate? I'm just being too lazy right now. So I'm actually gonna run it through Imagine AI um, without calling. And then once I get those edits on these images, I'm gonna call it down from there. I know, I know. Uh, but Imagine AI has such a great price point that, I mean, this is gonna sound bad, but I really don't care at the moment. So <laughs> I'm just gonna run them all through Imagine AI. And so for those of you not familiar with Imagine AI, it is um, editing, it's an editing software program that uses artificial intelligence to edit your photos. So really what it does is it learns your editing style by uploading at least 5,000 photos. And then from there you upload catalogs and it'll apply your editing styles to those, uh, to those photos. So I'm gonna show you how it can work. I've already done um, the whole 5,000 photo thing. And so it knows my style and I have a profile with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do this so let's go ahead and send photos so it already i already did the teach i'm going to go ahead and do the edit so what it's going to ask you to do is to pick a lightroom catalog and i am picking um this one here oh you know what i have to uh close it first so we're going to go ahead and close this yes skip okay so we're going to go ahead and do that We'll fetch the data. So this whole process with Imagine AI has sped up my workflow like crazy um, because it, what it does is it turns your images around super fast. Um, because I'm a brand photographer, I usually don't have like thousands of images. I mean, there are like my full day session, I might have like maybe close to a thousand images. Um, but for wedding photographers who have, you know, anywhere from like probably a thousand to five thousand images, depending if you have a second shooter, um, you may have quite a few photos. And so after we like send this to them, the time that it turns them around may vary. But like I said, because my sessions are so light, um, I get them back within like 20 minutes. It is insane. So, okay. So what it's doing is it's reading all the catalogs. So we're going to go to um, the catalog that I just did and we're going to go, um, into, let's see. Well, you know what I need to do? Shoot. I, because I didn't call it, it's going to recognize all the files in this folder. And this is a client that I shoot with regularly. So I'm going to be right back and I will, um, get to you after I separate those out. Okay, so now that I've put those photos into a separate folder in that Lightroom catalog, let's redo this. Okay, so we are going to go ahead. Oh, I don't want to pause. I just want to hit recent. And it's going to fetch that data. And all I did in Lightroom was drop it into a new folder on my hard drive with the selected images from this particular session. As I mentioned, I work with this client regularly throughout the year. So um, there was multiple uh, images in that folder and I didn't want Imagine AI to grab all of them. So once that's done, we'll grab that. Um, if you haven't checked out any of my other videos on Imagine AI, you can check out those on my YouTube channel. Um, so what I did, let's go ahead and find those. Uh, we have, maybe up here actually. Sorolino Boutique January. Okay, so there we go. There's 295 images. And then what you want to do is you want to add, um, you want to select your profile. I only have one right now. You also want to title this. So I'm going to do Soralina January 2022. I, I don't um, think I want to have them crop or straighten. Sometimes I do click those. Actually, I think I'm going to have them straighten. Um, we'll see how that works. And then, um, so normally if I do call my images, I do it by the star system. So, uh, fives are keepers for me. So what I would have done is I would have done, um, this, I would have unchecked all of those and any of the five stars is what I would have kept. But because I decided that I'm lazy and I don't want to call my images right now, then I'm just going to go ahead and click all of them. 
You can um, also filter by the labels. So if your culling system is different, flags, not flags, include the format, um, include the photos that are maybe edited or not edited. So really you can filter out quite a bit. Um, okay, so then all we're gonna do is we're gonna hit choose. And then it's going to tell you to send. You wanna double check the number of images, make sure that's correct, and then hit send. So basically what this is doing is it's uploading to Imagine AI and um, they are estimating that it's going to take for the upload about six minutes or less actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back when this is done. Um, once it gets uploaded to them, they're going to turn it around probably for me it's about 20 minutes. For a large wedding catalog I think they estimate and I don't do wedding photography anymore but I think they estimate I don't actually I don't know I'd have to check on their website I'll do that um, and I'll let you know what that time frame looks like when I come back all right so I got my edits back and um, yeah it was really quick unfortunately I didn't take note of the time but it was definitely under five minutes that I got these back so um, what we're going to do is we're going to open the app we're gonna download the edits to the catalog and um, go from there so I'm going to show you what to how we're going to do that. So now we're back in the Imagine AI app. We are going to download. We're going to select the project name and there we go. And 295 images and we are going to start a download. So it's going to tell you that's going to overwrite all other um, previous edits submitted. So which I didn't do anything. I didn't even call it. Start down. And then we're going to open Lightroom. So I have a very light and bright editing style. So we're going to see how this um, looks. All right. So what it's going to do is it's going to load the images here. So it's going to populate them and then you can kind of see which ones that it's like edited. So Let's go ahead and take a sneak peek here. I'm going to make these thumbnails a little bit larger. So my client owns a, um, a boutique and let's just see how these are looking. Oh yeah, nice. Oh my gosh. So let's look at the before and after. That looks so good. Oh, eyes are closed. See, I, I should have called these, but I was just too lazy. So let's take a look at some. Um, yeah, these are looking really good. So some of these I might just have to go in and fine tune. Um, actually, like that one's really good. I like that. But like these ones where maybe she's like looking down, there's a little bit more shadow than I think I would prefer. So I might just like bring up those shadows. But like everything else is like on point. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's do, let's take a look at some of these. Oh, her eyes are closed on that one too. I really should have called these down. Oh, well. And let's go to a different lighting situation here. Let's take a peek at some of these. Oh yeah, that one's really good. So we did this like GIF shot. We're gonna compile some of these together to like a GIF where they like turned and cheers. Yeah, these are looking really good. So the before and after, really on point with my style. And this is gonna save me so much time. Like I'm like hardly ever, like hardly gonna have to edit any of these. Did some confetti and then a few of them like working at this table. Oh my gosh, so good. So like literally I might have to go in and like adjust the shadows a little bit. Okay, so the other thing I want to point out is like um, that you can further teach Imagine AI your editing style. So if I were to like go in and like make a bunch of changes to these, which I really not going to have to do because like they look really awesome. Um, 
I am just going to finish my edits and then you can fine tune. So what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to like, um, like upload the photos that will fine tune your catalog. So they'll, it'll continue to learn your style. I know I'm kind of like stumbling over my words. I need a little bit more coffee today. So, um, yeah, these look so good. Um, right on point with my style. Uh, I love everything about it. Um, like this one here. She threw, oh God, that one's so pretty. I love that one. Um, and then this one here. Like this one might be a little cool for my liking. So I would just like warm that up a little bit. Yeah, super good. Okay, guys, I hope this is helpful for you in understanding if Imagine AI is better, um, is good for you. Like, yeah, these I should pull down. Like, I love this image. But like, yeah, it totally nailed my style. So hopefully this is helpful. And go check out my other videos. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm still like new with YouTube. So I'm hoping to grow the channel a little bit more.